Well, good morning or good day, whatever time of the day you find yourself watching this video. Welcome to another quarantine vlog. It has been a long time since I did a quarantine vlog. Uh, I don't know why I feel like maybe vlogging when I'm really technically can't go anywhere is interesting, but I'm gonna do it. Also, I've been kind of inspired by everybody doing vlogmas and I'm just not really about that life because I barely have time for anything. So I really admire people who can do vlogmas, but that is just way too much for me. I would do a couple like weekly vlogs during the holiday season, something cozy to watch. So this vlog is a week in my life. It is December. What day is it today, actually? I'm not even sure. December 9th, great. In case you guys don't know, I live in Los Angeles and in Southern California, we are basically shut down again. It's like it's March all over, it's great. Everything is closed except for grocery stores and malls because apparently malls are essential. Uh, what else is not closed is the ice skating rink. That is where I'm headed right now. I have been trying to go once a week to the rink um, the last couple months since I discovered that low key the rink is open. Um, in case you guys don't know, I used to be a competitive figure skater long time ago, different life. It's like a new, I have a renewed love for it in 2020. It really um, is helping me uh, get through some stuff. So I'm gonna go to the rink and practice and take you guys with me and then I don't know what else I'm gonna get up to today. Hopefully this week is slightly interesting. So if you're not already subscribed, hit that red subscribe button, join my YouTube fam and uh, stay tuned. Let's uh, see what we do this week. Welcome to the LA Kings Ice Rink in Burbank. No, this is not where they practice, I don't think, but they did take over this rink and buy it and save it from going out of business. So we love them for that starting my skating workout by the way apple watch doesn't have a workout for ice skating it looks like a, a skateboarder so it's what i have to go with apple come on let's fix this please man my spirals are not very high found a screw on the ice which is pretty dangerous i'm checking my blades to make sure it's not from my skate which is not that is a falling leaf I used to love doing those all right, so I've been trying to get my axle back, and Axel is the hardest jump in figure skating. Woo! I landed it on the first try. Second try is good. I actually went out and I did some with a little bit more speed and landed them, but then I started to fall. So I went back into the corner to uh, do these little walkthroughs. These are little exercises that you would do when you're practicing your axle to help get your body in the right place. Yeah, no, I'm totally sucking myself out now. Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. Nope. Ouch. I think I've psyched myself out. I'm just gonna take a break on that for today. That was fun. Keep on forgetting to put an old rag in my bag to wipe my blades down. I don't know what happened to the one I had in here, but just using this spare pair of tights that I have in here. 
not the best, most absorbent fabric ever, but whatever. To get off the ice, you have to always uh, wipe your blades down with as much moisture off of them as possible, because otherwise you can get rust, and that's no bueno. Wipe them off, you take your soaker, which is just this like very absorbent cover for your blades, put it over, and then you put them back in your bag. And the soakers kind of help to keep the, the blades continuing in their drying process so that they don't get rusty. For the record, these shoes are so ugly, but I love wearing them to the skating rink because they're cozy inside. Just driving past Disney Animation Studios. No big deal. Oh, and the ABC building. It has been a doozy since I saw you all last. I meant to vlog a bit more today, but it's not a big deal, but I came home and I've just been shooting a ton of TikToks and like really trying to grow it. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, please do. Link is down in the description box if you want to go follow me on. My husband is gone right now. He went to play hockey um, at the same rink that I just went to skate at earlier today. It's really kind of nice because before coronavirus, he worked like three nights a week. And so there was like three nights a week where I kind of had the apartment to myself um, I could watch my shows that he hates to watch and I just could get work done and just have my like sort of like alone time because I'm kind of a person that needs to be, you know, on their own sometimes. And with COVID, with both of us being at home all the time, it's been interesting. I'm using the time to edit, finish up editing my YouTube video, which is going live tomorrow. By the time this video goes up, it will already be live. It's my um, sweater declutter video. So if you want to check that out, I'll put that in the cards right here. So excited because today has been a really good day. But yeah, I got two campaigns today, which is amazing. Like I can't tell you all, this year has been really hard for me um, career wise, financially wise with my blogging stuff. Up until this year, like I've been a full time blogger and influencer since 2017 and it just seemed like every year since 2017 when I went full-time blogging and um, influencing on Instagram um, like every year just progressively got better and better and better I got like more opportunities and I made more money it just seemed like everything was going in like this amazing direction and then of course 2020 hit and it really affected this industry hard very very slow year for me you know, has given me the opportunity to focus more on YouTube and that has allowed me to grow YouTube more but it's just been really hard financially especially with my husband also out of work still so I booked two campaigns one of which is with the Westfield Century City Mall here in LA if you're not from LA the Westfield Century City Mall is like a beautiful gorgeous like brand new renovated outdoor mall that's on the west side of town they reached out to me tonight to do a holiday collaboration with them which like I have wanted for so long to work with a mall like I've seen other peers of mine work with uh, shopping malls and I've just been like man that's like the most ideal partnership for me because it's like one that I can genuinely be so freaking excited for because I love going to the mall and shopping it's just like a small little glimmer of hope in a year that has been extremely extremely hard it's just starting to look up i hope I'm gonna get back to editing finalize my video join my vino and uh maybe catch up on the bachelorette it is now thursday i am in the process of trying to film a Shein haul they usually take me forever i'm trying to get it done quickly this week but i don't know i just feel so overwhelmed today like i don't know if it's the fact that i had some really highly productive days in the last couple of days like i got so much done and i think i'm just drained from that or it could be the fact that i have just an overwhelming amount of stuff in my apartment it just feels so cluttered right now and i like just don't have the time to like deal with it like look at this ah! some of you all may have seen my sweater declutter video um, which also I have a jacket declutter video coming that I did that same day. I just didn't want to put them in the same video, but That's the aftermath of that. That was all the stuff that I have yet to photograph and list and put on Poshmark <sighs> Get my shit done today the best that I can <laughs> Just remember to be gentle with yourself You're doing the best you can and I'm preaching to the choir right now <laughs> I've seen some of my vlogs before you probably know my whole process when I style hauls I take the pieces that I purchased and I lay them out on the floor and I lay the full outfit to style with that piece and then once it is styled I take my phone and I snap a picture 
of the outfit so that when I'm filming the video I can just scroll through my camera roll and quickly see each outfit and then go and grab all those pieces and put it on to make it somewhat of a faster filming process. It still takes me forever though. Well, today is the big day. We are gonna head to the Westfield Century City Mall here in a bit to work on this awesome last minute holiday collaboration that I booked. I'm so excited. I'm gonna skip working out, which is like kind of a crazy thing for me. I usually always work out Mondays through Fridays. Um, but I want to just give myself some time to get some work done and make myself look pretty and I have to pick out an outfit to wear, something very festive, making my second cup of coffee. The high today is like 50 something degrees, which is cold in Los Angeles. Like, believe it or not, that's a cold day in LA. So, by the way, this... All right, so here's my outfit. I'm wearing this sequin fringy skirt with this sort of unfinished hem tweed blazer, my Chanel pin clear shoes with socks because why not and red bag nate just told me he thinks my outfit is too much but i think he's wrong i feel very out of sorts leaving the house like oh my god the sun <laughs> Let's go shopping y'all. They have so many hand sanitizer stations, which I love, and uh, they keep you pretty safe by making you go on these one-way street type of situations. Oh my god, they have an Aresia here, I did not know. Wow, this is heaven. Yeah, it's like basics, but really nice basics. You, you never wear stuff like that. What do you mean? Like that with a little hobby. I would. Okay, I'm having a good time. I'm having Okay, enough Aritzia. I need you to go get my work done. We headed to the little Christmas pop-up marketplace that they have in the middle of the mall and it is so so stunning just wait till you see it how cute is this little Christmas village area that they have down here it's so adorable Have you all heard of Scotch and Soda? I had no idea they had a shop in Century City and oh my god, just wait till you see what they have. I am literally dead. Look at the sleeves on this jacket. And this suit. So stunning. The pants.
my God. That is just amazing. This is the couch I would have if Nate would ever let me in for it. It's my first time in a container store. I'm not sure how I've gone my whole life without coming in one, but I'm already seeing all the possibilities of ways I can be more organized. <laughs> I need one of these makeup palette organizers. This is really cool. Fun little pre-made gift idea. Okay, pistachio spread is so good. Oh my God, I love this stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna open these up right now. But I love these things. They always give these to you at Apertivo in Italy. They are tasty little things. Mmm. You feel like you're back in Italy? Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I just got a package. <laughs> so my dad sent me some stuff. Watching The Voice the other night and oh my god. <laughs> Looked like a wreck. I was watching The Voice the other night and when Stefani wore this like oversized Letterman jacket and I just want to be Gwen Stefani when I grow up. So I was like, where can I get a Letterman jacket that's oversized? My dad has one from high school. So I asked him if he wouldn't mind giving me his Letterman jacket. And he said, yes, he mailed it to me. And here it is. And I think it's gonna be the perfect size. I'll try that on in a second. He also sent some other stuff, which I'm not sure what this is gonna be. Oh my God, DVDs of these kids sing along videos which I was in when I was a kid if you really want to do a deep dive on my life you can search on YouTube Cedar Monk Kids Jessica Moore or something like that and I'm sure you'll find something um also found a composition notebook that was mine from creative writing wow this should be interesting this is from 2000 and 2001 school year, so I think this is the one year that I homeschooled. Also, I can tell that the marking is my mom's handwriting, so I think it is definitely that year. Let's read the first entry, shall we? Entry is my bedroom. I guess I was supposed to write about my bedroom and describe it. My bedroom is very neat. I share with my sister, Jo. There are two twin beds with floral bedspreads on them. One bed has many stuffed animals on it. The other doesn't have so many. <laughs> wonder which one. Joe had the stuffed animals or if I did. Maybe I had grown out of it by this point. There is a nice window that overlooks our cul-de-sac and in the early morning you can find a lovely view of the sunrise there. A crowded closet is by the door. I guess some things have never changed. A soft cream colored carpet rests on the floor a little worn down by five years of being treaded on. Wow it's a good it's a good vocab word tread. There is a tall and short dresser and a mirror on the wall. This is my room. <laughs> Riveting stuff, guys. There's definitely pages where my mom's like, please write more neatly. But my cursive wasn't so great. Apparently they don't teach kids cursive anymore. Because I'm happy. Interesting. What do we got in here? Ah, yes. I told my dad that Nate was sad that we don't have a real Christmas tree because he misses the smell. So he said that he found these candles that apparently smell just like a real Christmas tree, and he would send us one. Let's see, Ashland brand, which I think 
Is that Walmart? Woodland pine is the scent. Ooh, it smells nice. It smells real nice. Let's try this jacket on. The sleeves are kind of stiff. <laughs> the sleeves are very weird. I think because they're leather, but they were painted possibly. That's what my dad was saying. So I may have to take it to the uh, lady Joanne who has a leather working shop right next door to see if she can maybe like condition them or something and help them loosen up a little bit. But it fits pretty well. Kind of love it. I just saw in the pocket. That is such a cool detail. His last name is stitched in there. It's so I guess dope. I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Day, getting um, some work done for one of my social media clients, creating a progress report for November. It is right now, it's December 14th. I am so behind on life this month, it's insane. Also trying to do a little bit of Christmas shopping online because uh, I haven't quite found everything for Nate yet for Christmas. We usually go all out at Christmas time, but this year we agreed to do a very small budget, $100 max for Christmas. I have no idea what he got me. I think he's already ordered me stuff. Normally every year I always like figure out what he gets me like either by accident or I don't know. It just, it somehow ends up happening this year. I have no clue. So I'm very excited about that because I hate it when I find out accidentally it's the worst. I got him some stuff from Nate. Nate doesn't really watch my YouTube channel and he certainly doesn't watch my vlogs, but just in case you are, turn off the video, Nate. In the Black Friday sale, J. Crew had an amazing sale and I got him this really cute, just like fleece pullover because I feel like he doesn't really have anything like this and he can wear it skiing underneath his um, ski stuff and this is also like you know a nice fleece I feel like it's very comfy it's very like you know staying at home not going anywhere type of wear which is exactly what most people are into right now so I got him really cute socks I feel like socks are kind of a lame Christmas gift but again it was Black Friday sale I just thought they were really cute it's like a little little Yeti socks on the ski slopes Somebody lost their skis there. I hope he likes them. Um, but I gotta figure out something else to get him. Or else I get him. It has to be something from Amazon Prime so it can get here in time. The thinking I'm gonna do is I might go on Amazon and find one of those license plate covers. Because his is still the one from the dealership. Um, maybe like a Chicago Blackhawks one since that's his favorite hockey team. Like men are so hard to shop for. Do you guys find that? Like I feel like guys are the hardest to shop for. Yeah, it's tough. But I hope he likes the stuff I get him. Back to work. Uh, do meatless Monday tonight. I think we're gonna try to make lasagna out of zucchini, and I have Beyond Meat, so stay tuned. Maybe I'll take you guys along for that adventure. I think so. Does that work? If y'all don't have a mandolin, you need this. This one I got on Amazon for like $29. It's so life-changing. Like it has taken certain recipes like to the next level for me. Well, let me just show you. So like I'm making these zucchini lasagna noodles, which would be so difficult to do without it. Like seriously so difficult with a knife. Um, and it has this little tray that catches everything, but it also comes with all these different attachments. So this is like a, a cheese grater attachment. So you can grate cheese with it. This one is really good for like julienning um, carrots or if you wanted to like julienne cucumbers or zucchini even um, that's what that one does um, but this one just like slices things thin but like not too thin this is like the thicker one but there's one where the blade is a little bit closer to the plastic so it makes thinner slices of things um, there's more attachments I think they're in the cabinet but it comes with this as well so that you don't uh, hurt your fingers amazing I'll link this in the description box because I freaking love this thing and it shalt them up honey Alright, let's see how this stuff tastes. Very appropriate spatula. This meat's kind of weird because it's 
not meat, so I don't think you can technically brown it. Tastes good. Oh, I accidentally picked a really hard recipe. It's a shitty one. <laughs> We've been putting off making this for like three nights. And we finally did it tonight. It takes so long. <laughs> it takes all day. You're true Italian. <laughs> Try those zucchinis off. <laughs> oh, this is what happens when you try to go low carb. It's so difficult. I say go with the carbs. It has to cook for like 20 minutes just like this. And then another 10 minutes with the lid off. And then, then we got to put it all in the pan which is not how it's gonna go like that. And then it's gotta go in the oven for like basically 45 minutes. We're not gonna eat until Tuesday. I'm sorry, Wednesday. All right, now we're finally at the moment of assembly. up my week <laughs> thank you all so much for hanging out with me on this vlog i hope you enjoyed it and uh if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys on my next video bye although it's been said many times many ways merry christmas mm -hmm. That's what Christmas is all about.